So, you want to learn how to play an Assassination Rogue in 6.2.2? Well, you've come to the right place. Hello, and welcome to a guide on multi-targeting, how to gear your Rogue in 6.2.2, where our damage is coming from. Yes, I'm going to have a rotation. We're going to have talents and glyphs. We're going to have just about everything you need in a guide. And I'm hoping to make this kind of short. We're hoping to make it quick and sweet. And we're going to show the Apexis through here how to get them. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Our talents to start off with. You're going to run Night Stalk Stalker at level 15 until you hit the 18% haste cap. Why am I saying this? 18 or 17 and a half as I've figured out haste cap wise. Shadow focus becomes no longer viable because yes, mutilate's going to be 55 energy and this will make it about 13 energy, but you're going to want more damage coming out of stealth and that'll just increase your damage further. I've gotten in Blackrock Foundry to the point where I'm dealing about 60k in 703 gear as we can see and it is just insane. I've watched a couple of mythic rogues and they've taught me a couple things so I just figured I should bring them to you. Level 30 talent. If you are going to be far away from the boss go ahead and pick deadly throw. If your tanks are going to die and you need someone to have swap to real quick go ahead and choose combat readiness because after the boss hits you a couple times with priests healing you you'll take 50% less damage for 20 seconds otherwise I choose nerve strike it's just an all around helpful on trash these 45 is your your preference really. I've come to figure out that all three of these are extremely viable in Hellfire Citadel. If your healers can't heal you very well, go ahead and take Leeching Poison. If you know you're going to have a mechanic where you think you're going to die, so Tyrant, Killrog, something of that nature, choose Cheat Death. You'll get brought up and the healers will notice and heal you real quick. Elusiveness just drops, and every time you press it, it reduces the damage taken, all damage, by 30% for however long this is active. So, on top of the area effect, that's already there. Level 60. If you are on a fight like Hellfire Assault, Iron Reaver, or Killrog or really Archimond. Burst of Speed is your way to go. Otherwise, go Shadow Step or Cloak and Dagger. I find those two rather helpful and all three of these are just more situational. Level 75, none of these talents are going to be used on a boss fight so they are really for uh, personal use. Internal Bleeding is a dot dealer Prey on the Weak gives you a 10% damage buff off of Kidney Shot, Cheap Shot, really those two are the primary, but it's Kidney Shot, Cheap Shot, Gouge, Sap, or Blind. It's basically everything in the Rogue's arsenal that can stun, sap them, you name it. It's probably sitting right there. Anticipation. For your rogue four piece, this is ungodly how this goes. I mean, you are sitting here just nuking things all over the place. And I don't know how to explain the difference between these two, but anticipation is your number one after your four piece because the two set is dispatch deals 25% additional damage as nature damage. So you're already getting a huge damage bonus. Four set is your dispatch now generates an extra two combo points. So it's going to be generating three on non-crits and four on crits. 
basically saying, mark for death, you're going to be wasting combo points. Because let's say you have three, you dispatch, you're going to be at like five, six, maybe seven. And you're just wasting your damage. You're wasting more damage. Shadow Reflection is your thing to use on level 100. These two, you throw away. I mean, I really wanted Death From Above, even after they buffed it, to be liable. But it is not liable at all for bursting. And Shadow Reflection is just a mimicking thing to do. What you're going to want for Glyphs here is Glyph of Energy. Your energy is increased by 20%, or er, not by 20%, hey, I wish, ha, by 20, and you're going to have 140 energy with our daggers. Because we're an assassination, you're going to have 140. You're going to want Glyph of Disappearance, which reduces the cooldown on our Vanish by one minute, but you cannot activate, like, it doesn't automatically activate stealth. And you are going to want Glyph of Recuperate if your healers cannot heal you, or Vendetta if they can. I personally use both of those in all the fights I go into. The majority of these are just situational when I'm soloing things in Tanan. Our rotation here. So let me go ahead and fly over to our lovely training dummies the raiders training dummy and the two dungeon training dummies what do you want for poisons well let's say our healers know how to heal us I'm gonna go ahead and use elusiveness and pick out deadly poison and crippling poison wound poison is PvP so that's obviously rather helpful And we are going to go ahead and swap us to some music in here. Alright, so to open up Cloak and Dagger, you're not ever using Ambush. But I use Cloak and Dagger on some fights just to move with Ambush. That's the only time I'm using it. So let's say the boss fight is up. You're going to use a greater... Drainic Agility Flask. Go behind the boss. And our timer is up here. Let me go ahead and throw one up here. Clock. Stopwatch. And boss pull in 10. So 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, pre-pot, 1, go. Mutilate till 5 or 10 combo points. Proc that macro I'm going to be putting in the description and use the Shadow Reflection until it hits 10%. Within that Shadow Reflection, you're going to be wanting to deal as much combo point-wise as possible. Hit a Rupture up and then switch. Hit a Rupture up on that target at 5 combo points and switch. On the third one, switch back to your primary target and you are just going to want to constantly rotate everything in here. The Vanish is used to proc and Venom. And when Dispatch comes up, it is just an overall damage boost. So what, what do we do single target? Let me get out of combat range here. What are we going to go ahead and do single target? So as you can tell, multi-target, I was pulling about 56k on the three training dummies. What are we going to go and do single target? So Raiders training dummy, this is our boss. You are going to open up with mutilates until five combo points. Pop up a rupture. Use Envenom. Back up to five combo points. I use Envenom 
as just an overall damage boost. And if you have dispatch proc like that, you need to use it within the Envenom to do more damage. Because when your Envenom procs up like that, dispatch and mutilate are doing a little bit more damage. And we proc our macro in the description when you have 10 combo points because you're going to want to use as much combo points as possible. Pop the ring if you have it. Use vanish to prop more mutilates. And that's pretty much the end of a boss fight. You just want to rinse and repeat that rotation. So, what are talents? Like, where do we get this, talent-wise? And, like, due to the talents, our stat priority is Mastery, Crit, Multi-Strike, Haste. After 705, like, because I've got 705 item level, but 703 equipped, I'm going Haste, Multi-strike mastery crit, and it is slowly working better because your dots tick faster, and when multi-striking or mastery, they tick a lot harder, and so you're just doing more damage overall. Because the mastery with assassination revolves around a poison. The poisons deal more damage depending on your mastery. So, what do you want on gear here in Hellfire Citadel? Mastery, multi-strike, critical strike, haste. Anything else, throw away. The only reason I have avoidance is because the chest piece, I rolled a warforge and avoidance, and that gave me 7% off of 185 avoidance. It's insane what stats can do. If you've got a couple daggers here, and one's a higher item level than the other one, go ahead and use the higher item level one in your main hand, and the lower item level one in your off hand. It deals more damage. You're dealing more damage, and everybody's happy. Use the Apexus empowered fragment when you get enough. I don't have enough here, but that's really helpful for your alts because it can bind to your battle net account now and you can send it to alts that don't have say this gear and help them level. This has been a guide on how to play your rogue. I really hope that you can deal a lot of damage just like I have. If you have any questions, please leave a comment in the description below and have some fun.